I know y'all heard about Nas, you know, him getting a divorce with Khalees. Now, we all know uh, about Nas, uh, you know, doing his little thing in the game, rapping, doing, you know, videos that's powerful, the messages with Jesus included in the messages, like when he did the video with Jesus, um, and he was hanging on the cross and stuff like that. You know, Nas is a is a chosen guy. He really is chosen, and Jesus wanted to really use Nas. And I'm really going to say this, Nas is a damn fool, because Nas sat here and married Khalees, and on his new album, Nas got a damn green dress laying across his lap. His old wife wedding dress that's green. He got the damn cursed dress laying across his lap looking crazy. Nas is not going to solve anything by holding on to his wife, ex-wife dress, Khalees. Khalees is uh, gone by her business and the Lord came in that stuff because Nas did not want to do his purpose. And Nas sold his soul to the devil like Tupac said he was going to do. It came to pass. Nas shook hands with the devil in the game. Nas sold his soul to everybody in the game. He didn't speak the truth to these people in Hollywood. He didn't tell these tr people the truth about themselves. And now he's looking crazy and tortured and his wife have left him for good. Now I'm going to be honest, Nas already know what this is about. He's not going to tell his fans or no one else in the game why he really, really, really went through what he went through with Khalees. And Nas is just a coward. Nas, I already know if he would have went all out for Jesus Christ, he probably would have got killed for Jesus because that was already spoken of his life. Uh, to do the will and probably get, you know, and, and go all out and then he was going to get killed for the Lord because he said he saw his death and things like that. Nas is a fool, like I said earlier, because Nas is sitting here, you know, weeping over some chick that don't give a damn about him and she's not bothered about getting Jesus Christ in her life as well. Khalees is nothing but a secret witch from hell and Khalees probably do not want the Lord and Khalees is going to keep on doing her demonic stuff for the devil and I don't know why Nas is wasting time with this silly foolishness Nas is basically marrying Khalees y'all because he was trying to hide behind this girl and run from Jesus Christ he was running from his purpose I know y'all can all see through that situation and Nas is really a disappointment to a lot of people Especially Jesus because he had a purpose on his life that he did not fulfill or even try to attempt to fulfill. And he shook hands with Jay-Z and all these people and kissed their asses instead of telling them about themselves from the very beginning. And he would have solved a lot of problems. He would have caused a lot of stuff to not go down the way it did. But by him not doing his part for Jesus Christ, he brought a bunch of drunk uh, foolishness upon himself a lot of cal uh, calamity on himself as well. You know, you know what I'm saying? Nas is just, you know, he got too much knowledge. He know too much to just be sitting there looking stupid, wasting time, passing time. And, I mean, it's just not making sense. This is such a disgrace. It's ridiculous, for real. And Khalid is not bothered about you, Nas. You need to let that go. Let that cursed green dress go from hell and throw that shit away in the trash and burn it. Because this is sickening. You know, it's like you holding on to a dress of your ex-wife and this woman has got no parts or nothing to do with you anymore. Y'all got tattoos with each other's name on it. It just was a waste of time. Because y'all not around each other no more. The Lord made her leave. Nas, because you didn't do your purpose, Nas. You wasted time, Nas. And now you got to reap the consequences, and that's your fault. You know, I don't feel sorry for your situation, Nas, because you know better. You knew about Jesus way before, I mean, anybody could think twice. You know what I'm saying? You knew what you had to do. You knew about your purpose. Because you sung the songs and showed all this in your videos to prove that you know what you're supposed to have did. For Jesus Christ, but therefore you didn't do it. I mean, that is a disgrace. I mean, seriously. And I mean, Nas is just, he's an asshole and he's an ass kisser behind all these celebrity stars that's satanic and evil and he know they're evil. 
Now I see through a lot of stuff. He act like he don't see through stuff, but he see through stuff because Jesus gave him a lot of gifts to use in his walk as he do the purpose that he did not fulfill for Jesus Christ. And now he's paying the price, okay? And I just prayed for his kids that they really don't make the mistakes he made. I prayed they give their lives to Jesus and not walk with the devil when they grow up. And I pray that they don't be stupid and be, and be silly like their dad. You see what I'm saying? Now I could have reached his, his wife. Uh, he could have reached people in the world. He could have reached his own baby mama, his other kid's mom. And I mean, he just could have really did some great things for Jesus, but he didn't finish it up, you know. He did some good, deep videos about Jesus Christ, but he didn't keep going, you know. So, and I know the enemy is a liar and Satan is a deceiver, but at the same time, nah, come on now. This is sickening. This is like really such a pussy move because it's sad. And you could have did better than that, for real. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it is. I just got to tell it like it is, whether you like it or not, nice. And whoever else don't like this, that's on y'all. I don't really care what y'all think because it's just the truth. And I'm just sorry to tell you that, but it's just the truth. And that's just the way it is, seriously. This is Lamorgan.